Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1196. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a great video. Oh, well, wait a second. We're going to do the same thing that we did back in Excel Magic Trick 1195. We have a text date. And the first two digits of each one of these text dates is a year. And we need to get them with a formula so it's dynamic back to a serial number date. Now in 1195, I did a few formulas. And Excelarium and David Malbrandt came up with some great formulas in the comment section. Now in this video, we're going to look at these two solutions. But we're going to see a bunch of cool little Excel fun tidbits along the way also. Now Excelarium, whereas I did an if, and we did this logical test, the left, and compared it to the current year, and then plopped a 19 or a 20. Well, check this out. This is what, what Excelarium did. He still did the left, because we need to get from this text date, comma, to the left two digits. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. We need that year. Now notice the whole column is selected. I'm just going to hit F2 to put the active cell in edit mode. And we still need that true, false, and is this two digit year greater than the current year? So I'm going to say greater than. And I need the current year, but I need the right two digits of it. And I need the year. Well, the current year, I'm going to use today. Today just generates whatever today's day is, comma, the year will extract the year, and the right comma 2. Now that's what we did in the last video. Right now, this better give me 15, because I'm shooting in the year 15. Now watch this Control Enter to populate this edited formula all the way down. And we get a bunch of falses and true. Notice this true means, yes, 97 is greater than 16. But watch this, falses and trues. If you do a math operation on them, falses will be 0, and trues will be 1. So watch this. This is what XLRM did. He just went, hey, I'm going to take 20 and subtract that little bit. Now, we got to be careful here. We have to force a comparative operator to calculate before a math operator. So we have to put this in parentheses. And watch this. When I Control Enter, now I get 20 minus false is still 20, 20. But down here, I get 20 minus true. The true is converted to a 1 by that math operation, and we get 19. Now watch this. We can take, boom, that thing and join it. Shift 7 ampersand to that text thing. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now we have the full four-digit year, two-digit month, and two-digit day. Now before we do our text function and this custom number format, I want to come over here and look at this custom number format. I'm going to select this cell. And this one has four digits for year, two for month, two for day. And this is a number, so we can see it. I'm going to go down to custom and watch this. Zero. Now, in other videos, I've done this, 1, 2, 3, 4 to represent the four digits for year, comma, 0, 0. Now stop and watch the dash and the 0, 0. It's affecting the right side of this number, comma, 0, 0. So guess what? We actually do not need, boom, boom, those. We don't even need two of them. We just need one and then the dash, 0, 0, dash, 0, 0. And that will do it for our custom number formatting. F2, and now we use the text function, text. That's the value. We come to the end, comma, and the format text. Double quote 0, dash, 0, 0, dash, 0, 0. End double quotes, close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now that's text, and we don't want that, so F2 plus 0, any math operation will take a text number and convert it back to a number, Control Enter. But of course, dates are serial numbers. So once we do that, Control 1, date, click OK. That is totally awesome. Now, both of these formulas in all cases will give you exactly the same thing. But watch this. David Milbrandt said, hey, guess what? There's an amazing function 
date value. And the purpose of date value is going from a text date back to a serial number date. But check this out. This function is connected to the date settings on your computer. So on my computer, it wants the month first, then the day, then the year. Not only that, but these formulas over here will only convert 0 to 15 to 2,000. Anything from any two digits from 16 to 99 will be interpreted as 1,900. This function won't do that. It'll take 30 to 99 as 1,900 and 0 to 29 as the year 2000. Now we're going to start with a month, so we're going to use the mid function. There it is. Comma, I need to start at the third position, so the starting position is 3, comma, and I need to go exactly two characters, close parentheses. Now if I highlight this, this will give me 07. That's perfect. I need to join that to in double quotes, slash, in double quotes, ampersand. I'm going to use that a second time, so I'm going to copy it. Now this computer needs day next, so I do write. The right of this, comma, two, close parentheses, control V to paste that. And finally, I need the year, which is left of, boop, comma, two, close parentheses. Now, if I highlight this date text in F9, it will interpret that perfectly. This 7 will belong to the year 2007, 1907, control Z. Close parentheses, Control Enter, Control 1 to format it as a date. Boom, click OK, double click and send it down. Now, I want to check whether all three of these are equal. And there's a few ways we can do this. One way we can't do this is we can't say, are you equal to this? Are you equal to this? Because it'll actually evaluate left to right. And we can run Formula Evaluator to see this up on Formulas, Evaluate Formula, or Alt-MV. And watch this. Of course, the first two are equal, but once it evaluates, now the rest of this is going to say, is true equal to that serial number? False. So we can't do that directly. But we can use the AND function and say, hey, the first date, are you equal to the second date? And is the second date equal to the third date? And that will work tab. There's still another way. Since these are serial numbers, I can ask from statistics the variation, the variation of the population. I'm going to highlight all three numbers. Hopefully, it comes out to 0, right, if they're all the same. I get a 0, and I need to say, are you equal to 0? Boom, and there I get my true. Now, I'm going to double click and send this down, but it won't work. Control C, arrow, arrow, control down arrow, 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 shift arrow, control shift up arrow, control V, control period to jump up to the next corner of this highlighted range. Now I want to verify whether I have any falses here. So I'm going to come up here and say equal count ifs. And I'm going to say down, down, control, shift, down, arrow, control, backspace to jump back to the active cell, comma, false, close parentheses. Whoops, that's not spelled correctly. False, close parentheses, control, enter. So I got 0 there and 0 there. Now let's scroll over here and look if we I put two digits all the way from 00, 00 down to 99. And I went ahead and did a date value where I just said, hey, February 15th. And then I took, actually, I built a little formula. This is a number incrementer that just gives me uh, the same two digits we see over here. But the, I copied this all the way down and applied date number formatting and see 15, 16, these are all 2,000. So all the way down to. 29. These are all in the 21st century. And here's the 20th century from 30 down to 99. If you look at the formula results, Excel is fun, Excel Arium, and David Malbrandt, they're all the same down to, of course, 16. The first two are showing 1916, whereas the date value is showing 2016. So all of these formulas in here will be different. Once you get to 30 all the way to 99, they are the same. Wow, it's fun hanging out with our online Excel team, an awesome formula from David Malbrand, and an awesome formula from Excel Larium. All right, we'll see you next video.